I just see the reverse of it, but just, just consider how it will apply. You first topple the government, then you go to the EC. Which in any case is... So then you, according to you, you what? We reinstate uh, the... the just read, of, straight away. The court being told that you reinstate a government which has... No, no, Maris, still, it is, it's... Yeah, acknowledgement by I, you. I hear your lot of loud and resign. It's a question. How can the court reinstate a chief minister correct, who did not even face... Uh, the, Floor of test. Your lordship is not re now. Our problem is look at the look at the intellectual conundrum. Yes, yes. That it's not that you have been ousted from power as a result of a trust vote which was wrongly summoned by the governor. You chose not to. You chose you. Three-step procedure. I want to ask myself, Malus, in which case will the tenth schedule bite? Let's Malus be very blunt. What your lordship will do is your lordship's domain. But today, your lordship's other option, other than my option, which I am submitting most humbly and respectfully, is adopt the three step procedure or validate it or recognize it. But then, how will 10 schedule apply? It cannot. And then, Malas, your lordship should be actually adopting an interpretation which reduces the 10 schedule to vanishing point. Actually, it vanishes, then vanishing point, it vanishes. Every case of defection, I will say, I'll not resign. I won't go to the EC. I won't merge. Merger is given to you by the para four of the of the of the ten schedule. I will not do it. But as your lordship was told, I am the party. I am the overwhelming majority. I am the main person. I am it. I am it. Therefore, to hell with the ten schedule. So, Malas, on principles of interpretation, and much more so of constitutional interpretation than even statutory. This is a much better way to look at it than Maris, the contrary view. Because your lordship Maris, gives meaning to both sides and your lordship does not adopt something. What is this other adoption which is propounded to your lordships? On the high moral principle of democracy, dissent, free speech. Each of my four options gives you that option. So what the ten schedule does is it says I am giving you a free speech option. I am giving you a democracy option, but within my own terms. I am not giving you a Jangal Raj free speech and democracy option. Otherwise, why would I enact a 10 schedule? See, but merger, Dr. Singhvi was not an option open to them because they were not claiming to merge their party with yeah, either the BJP or any other party. With respect, I am sorry right. to interrupt, Malus. why not? So, merger was not an option. No, it was an option. Malus. They did not of choose course, to exercise you're it. Right, you're right. Ah, that's correct. It's an option. They chose not they to exercise an option. In, an, in the abstract, but they were not following the merger route at all because it's not their case that, look, this part of the Sena that's exactly has my point with another party. That is not That's clear. exactly my point with greatest humility. Then the only point is that in a situation like this, where they say that we have lost faith with the leader of the party, yes. then the only con then the only option according to them, according to you, is that you resign and recontest. No, no. I will stick stick to my four options. That's huh? I'll say all the four options are no, 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 no. No, no. What 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 do they do then? No, no. Whereas resign is one. Right. These nine people with merge with another political party, why not? But the fact that I don't excise an no, option. That, that is not an option because merger means that their political identity as the Shiv Sena is lost there. That, that, well, then in that case, if the 10th schedule says that I recognize only this path of exit of, from this room, you can't say I'll make a new tunnel to get out. But you know, Dr. Singh, part new... of your argument is a problematic argument. A that look, problematic. I'll tell you why. Because your argument postulates that if you have a dissension, then the only way you can express the dissension is to leave the party and merge somewhere else. One? They say, sorry, we don't want to leave. I mean, right. ideologically, I am a Shiv Sena man. Sure. I don't want to leave, he says. He says, I don't want to leave the party. So, as far as kindly see, argument, Balata, kindly even, see the even if, even if somebody applies to the election commission at yes. the initial stage instead yes. of in the legislative assembly Correct. and says that we now want the political party to Act that we are the political party act. recognize us. So even that, according to your argument, is impermissible then? No, no. Because? So because that's outside the so long five as five instances that no, you have no, given. No, no, no. One of my five is EC. He's not resigned. I beg No, no. One is resignation. One is split, which is gone now. One is merger. The fourth is EC. Fourth is EC. Now, whereas if I apply to EC without violating a whip and get a decision, if I apply to EC without voluntarily resigning, it's perfectly permissible. 
I can't be saying I'll topple first and then I'll apply to EC. So remain a member, be a part of it, and, and Balas, vindicate your principle. Absolutely. Balas, I just see the reverse of it, but just, just consider how it will apply. You first topple the government, then you go to the EC. And why did you write the tenth schedule? That we understand. No, and, and Malas, also, apropos by Lord Chief Justice Query, Malas, are you harmonizing or not? There is one more thing. The fact that you don't choose consciously not to excise an option but does not mean you can wish away the option. The option is a constitutional option. It's a constitutional option. It's as equal to split as it was earlier. You don't exercise it. It really amounts to saying this. I want to avoid the tenth schedule. So I will put blinkers and close my eyes to four options available. Four constitutional options. The fifth one is deleted. And I will choose a new option, which is only the three-step procedure. First, disable the speaker. Second, approach the governor. Third, be sworn in. See, the negative prohibition in the 10th schedule is twofold. One, voluntarily giving up a membership. And two, defying a whip, 2-1-A, 2-1-B. The 10th schedule certainly does not have any provision by virtue of which there is a prescription if you do not give voluntarily, if you do not give up the membership of the party. And yet, exercise the right of working your remedies within the party. It, 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 then you cannot be held to be a defector. Right. And that is the whole purpose. You were elected. So that's exactly the case. No, no but well, then in that case, why do you enact the 10th schedule? Well, 10th schedule is not well, saying that well, Article 191A, just see 194, well, it's very interesting. The scheme of whole, this entire system. Well, if your lordship were to make a standard as broad as if you have a dissent, you can violate the 10th schedule. Then a lot of uh, unmanageable. Then, but unmanageable. your argument, Dr. Singhvi, would be yes. the extreme argument on this side, which possibly you can adopt also, is that any dissension amounts to the voluntary voluntary giving up of the membership of a no, party. I'm going to give one of the more. I, I'm not extreme. The other argument is extreme. I'm going to give a harmonized answer immediately to that. The principle can never be Malas dissent. I'm not happy. Therefore, I can go. Three answers, Malas. One. Well, everybody has dissent, Malas. Which political party? There are enough inbuilt outlets within the party to express dissent. One. That is what your lordship will always say. Two. The dissent within the party at the appropriate fora can be followed by any of these four. Three. Three. You, Malas, if you are having dissensions and you are not satisfied with the party system, then, Malas, you will simply express it that I am resigning or doing malas going away with nine tenths of the people. But malas, how will you say that mere disagreement entitles me to topple? Here they have not expressed dissent. Malas, it's not a case of dissent. I have not gone out and spoken against the party. Dissent plus, this is dissent plus plus plus. Dissent plus toppling. Your Lordship remembers I started malas, I think there was a Navabravia hearing. Your Lordship notices malas, uh, 191, 2, and 194, or she may not remember that, we'll just kindly turn to that for a minute. 191 bracket 2. Couple of things. Step one was, uh, as we saw, I mean, the three the three, uh, the three steps that you told us. Just yes, one second, I'll just go, down, go back to it. Correct, Malas. Notice of removal to the speaker. Yes. Resolutions given to the governor and yes. the act of being sworn in as a CM. Correct. There's one step earlier, probably one one step which you can also add there, which was the governor's trust no, vote no. communication. I'm grateful. Sir. I'm grateful. Right. Now, four step. There, suppose, suppo uh, you know, notice of removal of the speaker, we are not really called upon to adjudicate upon the validity of the. What okay. okay, It's a three o'clock, so take one. Oh, no, 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 time, no, time, no, time. No, except except in Navam Arabia, your lordship, if your lordship chooses to refer, would have that issue. Navam Arabia, if we choose, in the broad, no, no, I'm saying it arises. I'm not saying your lordship may have to for this case. I'm saying that's the core issue. In... No, no, I'm saying well, it's, it's an issue. Which governor, the different. governor asked for a trust vote. Yes. Two ways of looking at it. Well, the governor had material to call for a trust vote, in which case a further issue would arise as to whether he was justified in calling upon Shinde to form the government. 
pinpointing picking out a person and saying picking out a person because correct even assuming that the governor had material to call for a trust vote what is the basis for picking up shinde second that the governor had no material to ask for a trust vote Absolutely. And there was no valid material at all that's on the basis question. of those three circumstances. That's a core question. And well, it's, uh, that goes to the heart of the matter. Well, if I may digress for 30 seconds, Mr. Dushar Mehta was right when he quoted the couplet. But perhaps he didn't realize that the second sentence applies against him. He quoted Bashir Bhadra to say, Chup rahe to galat fahmiyo aur galat fahmiya aur bhi badhi. Usne wo bhi suna jo mainne kaha nahi. Usne wo bhi suna jo maine kaha nahi. Malas, the governor in his letter at 326 PDF <laughs> talks of a resolution to exit the government which doesn't exist at page 55 where the resolution is held there. So he's yeah, hearing things jo kaha nahi. The resolution doesn't say that we are exiting the government. Yes. So he heard something. We had said, wanted to. <laughs> Malas, I found a more appropriate one for Mr. Mehta. I found a more appropriate phase for Mr. Mehta Malas. Not Bashir Bhatt. So the only question was whether there was a valid exercise of power by the governor to call for a trust vote. And if we, but what happens if we come to the conclusion that there was no valid exercise of power by the governor to call a trust Everything vote? Everything false. Everything false is very... Uh, no, no, very I'll, be, I'll be dealing with Bhama. That's Actually, that's the core question. Your lordships is saved a lot of unnecessary exercise if your lordship comes to that conclusion plus follows Bhama. Which in any case is so then you according to you what we reinstate uh, the Uddhav Just Thakre speak, government. Straight away, let me just change my tack and go to Bombay. But you resign, no? No, no. That's I covered in my note directly. Five reasons. Justice Shah asked me that one in the beginning. Your Lordship asked me that. I straight away answer. That is actually red herring. My resignation and not facing the Malad's uh, trust vote is irrelevant. That's completely. Really, but that's Mr. No, Malad, I'll, I'll deal with. So let me deal with because it because. So let me deal with that. If you, it's like the court being told that you reinstate a government which has no, no, well, it is it's yeah, acknowledgement by I, you. I hear your lordship loudly. You resign. It's a question asked earlier, and it is actually a plausible-looking thing, but it's actually irrelevant. I'll show that in a minute. No, no, Mr. Kapsil, how can just hypothetically? Yes. yes, yes. How can the court reinstate a chief minister, correct, who did not even face ah uh, the Floor of test. Your lordship is not reinstating anybody. Your then lordship what will, is what will be the consequences. Your lordship is and should and does, and Bomai says it more graphically, restore status quo ante. We That's would. the meaning of a. But uh, Miss Doctor Singhvi, it would have been a logical thing to do. That's where we are. You know, it would be a logical thing to do, provided you had lost the trust vote on the floor of the lordship, assembly. Uh, lordship may just flag that. I mean, right, I because answer. then. Clearly, you have been ousted from uh, power I, because of a trust vote which is set aside. Correct. Duty bound to set aside. And I believe, Alas, that right now our problem is look at the look at the intellectual conundrum. Yes, yes. That it's not that you have been ousted from power as a result of a trust vote which was wrongly summoned by the governor. You chose not to. You chose you for whatever reason you didn't want to face the trust I, vote. I, I face that squarely. Specific. Allow me, Alas. I'll change my sequence and come to this first right now. May I, Malus? Because straight away your lordship's conscience should be satisfied. 